Welcome everyone, this is Corey Babka from Mark's Group Live. Uh, excited to be here today teaching CRM Basics the account record. Um, after the training's over, feel free to email us at supportmarksgrouplive.com for any questions on the subject or other, other support issues. Uh, be sure to rate this class as well, helping our fellow Zoho users or your fellow Zoho users and our subscribers get the most out of all the, the videos in the library. Uh, here are some main points that we're going to be discussing today. Uh, we're going to be talking about the accounts as they are the highest level of record in Zoho. Uh, they should be considered a company or maybe a household depending if you're B2B or B2C. And then the accounts, they kind of package up or roll up all those child activities. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into this. I'm going to show you the scene and uh, the screen in a second. We're going to go to Zoho CRM and uh, take a look at it in action. So what we've got here is your typical Zoho CRM. This is an out of the box, um, you know, with some some sample data in here. But you notice we've got leads, contacts, accounts. You can discuss the deals, leads, and contacts in another uh, video or two. Uh, that you know, this this video we're watching today is part of that CRM basic series. Those we've also covered as well. Today we're diving into the accounts, and so the accounts. The big piece here is that accounts are considered the business or a company. Don't get swept up in the, the word account, especially in the financial industry. You'll sit there and say, what's an account mean? Is it a bank account? Is it a customer account? It doesn't have to be a customer. Um, when we talk about sales training, we talk about leads being those suspects that convert into contacts and accounts. Well, accounts can be prospects, they can be customers, they can be clients, they can be vendors, they can be suppliers of your product, um, they could be partners. Essentially, all you need to do is think about it as a company, quote unquote. Um, if you think of the word account as company, you're not going to have any problems. This will be easy enough for you to follow along. It's fairly clear that way. Now, if you're in a consumer type industry and you're not doing B2B, a lot of times because we want that roll up, we'll talk about that in a second, but well, because contacts belong to an account, like if we if we sort this by account name in the contacts area, you can see there's bills, boats, bills, boats, bobs, bobs, books, books, books. You know, there's multiple contacts at each account. So how would I do that in a in a consumer industry? In a consumer kind of type of um, client of ours, we would recommend maybe the household, right? So instead of accounts being customers or companies, you would look at accounts being more of your household. If you're a financial advisor, you would have, for instance, the Babka household, right? And at that point, what you would do is you would have my wife, myself, maybe my two boys, some dates of birth, all those type of things rolled up in those list of contacts below. All right, so you could either have a company, an account record, that has multiple contacts. You could have a household account record that has multiple contacts as well. And that usually kind of fixes it up, right? Um, the main thing as well, like we said, is there is the the roll up because the account is the biggest piece of um, you know just kind of going back to our takeaways here it is the highest level in, in in Zoho right accounts are the highest level even though they're listed third or fourth here by default they are the highest level you can go and all these other pieces kind of link below it as a child record we talk about parent child a lot when we talk about databases um, at this point here you're looking at um, child records, could be contacts, could be, um, could, could be deals or opportunities, could be campaigns, uh, could be different products that they own, but anything, it rolls all the way up to the account. And so let's talk about that roll up for a second. So if I go to Bill's Boats, and, and what I like to do is say, as an example, let's say I'm an account manager. As an account manager, I should be looking at this going, I need to manage all the accounts in my territory. They may be vendors, they may be prospects, they may be customers, but they're my accounts. And at that point within the account, I can see, well, there's an active deal of $500. It's overdue at this point, but it's out there. There's two contacts and maybe some other information that we might have customized like financial data or something like that that comes from somewhere else, like a mini form, right? But what we're looking at here is this roll-up of contacts. So here's Bill, and he's a part of Bill's Boats. And here's Brenda, and she's also a part of Bill's Boats. And what's important to note is I'm going to go back to another account. I'm going to go back to um, Books, Books, Books. 
Now, if we look at books, 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 what's interesting here is that we have two contacts, Billy and Nancy Miller. Okay, There's a next action there, but it's not really with books, books, books. It's probably with one of these people here. Right. So if I go down to, let's just say, the open activities area, right, and I'm reviewing everything within the account, if I go back to my open activities area, what I've got here is an item that happens to be with Nancy. Now, what's more important, look at the closed activities. I've got two with Billy, one with Nancy. So what I've got is this roll-up of closed activities that shows me individually, if I go to Billy, for instance, you're going to see two closed activities, right? Both are with him. But if I go back to my books, 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 you notice I'm navigating just by clicking on the link. Now you can see there's three. Why? Because there's one with Nancy, two with Billy. There's an open activity with Nancy. And I can go to Nancy and I can see that one open activity and that one closed activity. Right? So the account, again, is the, the nicest piece about the account is there's that roll up. Let me go in there again. This roll up of how many contacts are there, how many closed activities are there, how many open activities. I know people that have known me for a while and, and talked to, and I do a lot of training for people. Um, they, they know that I use this analogy a lot, and I'll talk about like the, the human body book that I used to have when I was a kid that was, that it, was a, it was multiple transparencies on top and then you could peel each layer away and show skin and skeleton and nerves and muscles and all that. And so what it is is each slide was individually had its own value. But if I wanted to see them all together, it would almost fold up and I'd see that entire body, right? Well, so that's the type of thing here. If I'm an account manager, I want to be able to look at my account be able to search and see everything that's been going on across my company, across my users, as well as their people, right? Across my users would be here, their, cut, their contacts would be here. And I can get that 360 degree view from the account record. Now, I'm not saying do activities with accounts because we generally don't do correspondence with accounts. Generally, we do, um, uh, you know, generally we, we do business with accounts, but we correspond with people. So the activities are going to be at the level of Billy and Nancy Miller, where I'm going to add an activity here and do a new call and all that. But by going up to here to the account level, I am going to see all that activity. Okay, and I hope that makes sense for you. And that's that's just a nice little introduction to, um, you know, to the account record itself. The account is. Again, it's, it's kind of like the bread and butter of the entire Zoho CRM, as well as other CRM systems. If you've worked with other CRM systems, the word account is a very, very common standard form or a standard record, I should say, within the database. Okay. So again, let's go over what we've gone over today. So we've, we've talked about the accounts for the highest level of record in CRM. Okay. We've talked about how accounts should be considered a company or a household. That just makes things a lot easier for you. And then we've also got this package up all the child records or roll up is what I should say I guess and then we roll that up so we can see it at the account level and go from there okay so let's see here so I hope that you uh, you enjoyed watching the class today this this 10 minute video here um, you know check out our video library for the other tips and training videos like this one if any suggestions for other classes or how to adjust the training topic Please email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. You can all easy, you can also email us any questions at support at marksgrouplive.com. Okay, for all your help and support needs, here we go, marksgrouplive.com. See you next time.